Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Butter What Show. I am uh, one of your co-hosts, Pat Regan. This is your other co-host over here, BrianCMoses.com from BrianCMoses.com. On this episode, we're going to talk about some uh, CNC router stuff because uh, Carbide 3D just recently announced the new Shapeoko HDM, and I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna buy one, but I'm excited about it. I think you should be. I'm excited about it. I think it's tempting. I don't know if I'm gonna buy one. No, it's a, it's try... a bit expensive. And yeah, it's tough to yeah. compare to the other stuff in the lineup, right? Because the Shapeoko's half the price, but it's a kit, so you have to put it together, and this one's about twice as much. And it's not a kit, it arrives pretty much assembled on a pallet, and you're gonna need help to lift this up onto its bench that you're gonna keep it on. This is a really heavy, heavy duty machine. And I was hoping, like our friend Alex has the Carbides Nomad 3, which is a little eight inch by eight inch, a little bigger than a bread box, but it just comes ready to go. You put it on your desk. It can cut some pretty heavy metals. There's no trouble cutting aluminum. You can just barely cut some soft steel with it. Don't know if I'd recommend it. Don't know if they'd recommend it, but they definitely did a video, a whole series of videos where Winston made a camping knife using the Nomad. But I can't cut steel on my Shapeoko that costs about the same as a Nomad. I have a router, just a woodworking router is on there and they just, the end mill, I mean, I'm doing this like it does dances around, but it has run out. It doesn't, you know, it shimmies around as it cuts. So if you, if you use a, small enough end mill on my machine for me to cut steel, you would be breaking end mills because they, you know, they don't go they in a straight enough up. line. The Nomad has less run out. And this Shapeoko HDM, it's like, I was hoping it would be like a giant Nomad and it really is a giant Nomad, a 24, I don't, but it's uh, it has a real spindle. It has a, there's two options. The big one is 2.2 kilowatt and the small one that'll run on 110 volt is something like 1.4 kilowatts or something like that. And it doesn't have the run out like my machine does. And, I was hoping it would be like a Nomad. Winston published a video where he was cutting, he was cutting a big pocket into a chunk of steel. So I'm guessing this is a pretty beefy, it's as beefy as it looks like. Just running through aluminum here like it's nothing. But last year I was surprised. The uh, Carbide 3D's biggest competitor was Inventables with their X-Carve machine. And last year Inventables came out with a very expensive, very large CNC of this kind of caliber with these, uh, see those tubby, see those uh, screws on each axis? Mm -hmm. The lead screws are more accurate and more rigid than the belts on my machine, and that's why you can cut sturdier materials, stiffer, harder materials. The big X-Carve machines, they have a four foot by two foot machine for $10,000 and a four foot by four foot machine for twelve dollars or $13,000. It's got these same sort of ball screws similar caliber of machine, but I don't know if that's big enough for me to want to spend ten or $12,000 on. And I don't yeah, think I would a... put the kind of materials in that big machine that would be, like I would never put a four foot piece of steel in a CNC. I'm not that kind of make. How heavy is a four foot? But the Shapeoko HDM is just under $5,000. It arrives on a pallet that's mostly fully assembled they haven't shown us exactly what that looks like yet i don't i think you're it's only open for pre-orders so far but it's a big beefy machine and you could be cutting steel on it but what i didn't understand was i don't know why i would buy the x-carve machine when i could buy this 27 inch by 24 inch or so i don't know the exact dimensions off the top of my head here of the shape Boko hdm and then i've been looking at the I'm not gonna buy this either tubby i'm sorry everybody loves these avid cnc machines i've seen a few folks on YouTube that have the smaller ones in their shop. But you can get a kit for about $6,000 to get yourself a four foot by eight foot CNC router. This is more like my shape, Oko, but okay. way bigger. But bigger. So like what I figure is $6,000 for this. And I said the other one was $5,000. Did I lie to you, you about said, that? You said the HDM was just just under just 5, under? I think that's yeah, correct. 4,900. I would rather have this and the HDM in my garage than have just the, just the, the X car machine. Yeah, because yeah. I can I can't fit material this big in the X car. At least not all at once. They have the setup where you can cut two feet of it, push your material through, cut two feet of it, push your material. Through. I don't want to do that. That's I want to like just a lot put. Of work. It is. I want to put a piece of plywood on there, and I want an arcade cabinet to come out. But I think the Shape Ocos are going to be shipping pretty soon. Yeah, there it is. It's forty nine hundred dollars. I'm a little bummed out that we can't compare all of these things like apples and oranges because 
The HDM is fully assembled. The X carves are fully assembled. That Avid CNC is a kit. My cheaper ship yeah. Boko is a kit. The Nomad is not a kit. So many axes to compare the prices and performance of all of these. On. Yeah, it's almost like they do that on purpose. I know, right? I tweeted at Winston because I want to upgrade my machine to a spindle like this. And there's a lot of, you could go on Banggood and AliExpress and you can find terrifying spindles. I mean, who knows if they're any good, right? But I asked him, can we put one of these on our machines? And he says that sometime, he's hoping by the end of this year, I think he said. Don't quote me on that. That's, we'd have to look that up. They're going to have a spindle, a, a Smaller than these two spindles, a, you know, a more appropriate size spindle upgrade that we can buy for our older Shapeoko machine. And I'd pay That'd a little extra for that. You know, I don't know what it'll cost you. It'll probably cost me $300 to get a water-cooled spindle from China that I'm going to have to puzzle out how to make it work and hope it works. I mean, if they have a yeah. kit for 500 bucks. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, 400 bucks would be even better, just in case anybody from Carbide 3D's marketing yeah, department or, is listening in. Free would be really exciting. Yeah, free but, would be fantastic. But I bet, I'm happy to pay bet, for it. I bet Pat would dedicate a whole a whole episode to it on a, the Butter What wow. show. Wow. Dozens of people would watch that. It would be fantastic. Dozens. Hey, it, maybe hundreds. Dozens, at least. Maybe hundreds. Maybe even more. Oh! Brian, I thought we were at the end of the episode, and I didn't even talk about the most exciting thing that's going on with the CNC. No, you didn't talk about any of the exciting things that you've you have gravy. You have, uh, what do you call them? Props to show I off do. to everybody. My wife, Chris, she's been messing around with the CNC. She's been learning how to work it. This is fun. And I'm, we've only I'm done little prototype this. things. She wanted to make little catch-all trays for her desk. And this is only particle board. So don't, uh, don't judge her on, like, that there's a sticker here that we didn't take off. And it's just, it's particle board. But it's got a little slot here. You can put your, uh, you know, you can rest your phone in there. You can see what time yep. it is. Whatever these messages are, somebody on YouTube could be reading those. I wonder if it's anything good. And she sized these. This one will fit your AirPods, pro or regular. And this one needs to be taller because it doesn't fit her chapstick. And this is wide enough for pens. She's, she's very That's excited neat. about this. She, she should be. And she she did a test V-carve on the back with her name here to see how, because she didn't know how V-carving worked, what it was. And then she's made our cat a little, this is going to be tough to see on here, I think. It's a coaster out of, we did, we need to go buy some nice wood. This was just, this was the only board I had that was about coaster thickness. It's a little thick. Why does but, your cat need a coaster? Well, where would he put his drink, Brian? When he's thirsty, he drinks a lot. You know. But Chris is doing a good job. I can't tell anybody why she's doing this, just in case anybody's watching. But she's having a good time. What do you What do you find folks out there in YouTube land think? Did Did Brian and I do a pretty good job today? If we did, you can uh, let us know by hitting that like button down there, or. Maybe you want to leave us a comment and let us know if we're doing a good job. And if we didn't do a good job, that's something you can leave in the comments, too. You can tell us why we were wrong, what we did wrong, how stupid we are. You can tell everybody you don't like my haircut. We live stream the recording of these episodes on the first Tuesday of every month, and we're inviting you to come join us. Make sure you subscribe to the Butter What channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future live streams and episodes. You, know, you don't even have to wait until the next live stream. You can come and hang out with us in Discord and participate in our community over there. There's a link in the description. So if you want to check that out, you can definitely do that. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope we get to see you next time.